Hello, I'm Betri Vail, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Cape Town. Today, I'm going to show you how you can launch an Amazon Relational Database Service database instance that's covered by the AWS FreeTier. Let's get started. The Amazon RDS FreeTier allows you to experiment with Amazon RDS for free. It's available to you only in the first 12 months after you create your AWS account. Each calendar month, the free tier allows you to use the Amazon RDS resources listed below for free. 750 hours of Amazon RDS Single AZ with DBT2 Micro, DBT3 Micro and DBT4G Micro instances. Usage running MySQL, MariaDB, PostgreSQL databases each month. If running more than one instance, usage is aggregated across instance classes. 20 GB of general purpose storage, solid state drive, 20 GB for automated backup storage and any user initiated DB snapshots. When your free usage expires or if your application use exceeds the free usage tires, you simply pay the standard pay as you go service rates. Users need to know that not all RDS database engines are available under the AWS free tire. RDS database engines available under the AWS free tier are as follows MySQL, MariaDB, PostgreSQL. RDS database engines available under the AWS free tier don't include the following Amazon Aurora, RDS Oracle database. Now, let me show you how to create a free tier RDS database. First, log in to the AWS management console and then navigate to the Amazon RDS console. On the RDS console, make sure that you have selected the desired AWS region where you want to create the RDS instances. Choose Create Database. For Choose a Database Creation Method, select the method that you want. For this demonstration, I will use Standard Create Method. For Engine Type, choose the engine type that you want. For this demonstration, I will use PostgreSQL, but you can choose between MySQL MariaDB or PostgreSQL. For version, choose the version of the database engine that you want. For templates, choose free tier. For settings, provide the DB instance identifier, master username and password. For DB instance class, storage type and allocated storage, leave them at the default AWS free tier values which are dbt3 micro general purpose ssd and allocated storage 20 gb byte for connectivity database authentication and additional configuration select the options that you want or leave the default configuration in this demonstration i am going to leave them as the default for backup clear the enable automatic backups checkbox to avoid incurring storage fees for retaining backups of your amazon rds instance Review the estimated monthly cost to be aware of the AWS free tier limits. Now let's create the RDS database that's available under AWS free tier. And now you know how to launch an Amazon relational database service database instance that's covered by the AWS free tier. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.